Disclaimer, this video is totally made upon fiction. Nothing is related to reality. Ignore my mistakes. It's totally imaginary. Don't take it seriously. I'm not encouraging anyone to get influenced by it. The voice in the video is mine. Picture credit goes to the owner. Please don't copy my content. Morning. Mine is snuggle more feeling. Soft and time held more tightly. But soon they frown and open their eyes at the same time and looked at each other and screamed. Why, what the you are doing in my bedroom? Shout. Damn, what nonsense. You are in my bedroom. Shout back. Wine was holding the bed sheet, covering her. Wine, you look away. Don't look at me. Tam looked away. Tam, I was not looking at you. You. Wine, what? I am wide in eyes. What happened between us? Shock. Tam also got shocked. His head was already. Damn, no, no, this can't happen. Shocked. When what you did to me, huh? Damn, I don't remember anything. When me also angry. I guess we were drunk and Why no, what will happen? Damn, nothing just forget it. When do you think it's a simple thing to forget? Bogum, where's Bogum? She said, making Tayong roll his eyes. Tayong, maybe someone. When shut up, he's not like you. And wear your clothes and give me mine. He was about to stand, but she shouted, making him flinch. When first let me look away, then looked at her in disbelief. They were their clothes. Then, do you want any help? He said, holding her arm. When get off him, I don't need your help. Don't show me your face ever again, understood? And what happened between us? Just forget it, like it never happened. Then, yes, this will be best for us. Let's not see each other from now on. Saying this, he went away and after some time, Wen also left. She thought to skip university today. Her mom asked where she was and she told her she stayed at her friend's house. Next day in university, Y entered and saw Tayong was standing talking with his friend. She wanted to smash his face between two slices of bread, but she controlled herself and went in class. Simon, what? You are not going to fight with her today? Tayong, nope, I'm not bored of her. Jimin, really bored or fall in love? Then just shut up, Jimin. He always speaks nonsense. Bogum sat near Vyan. Bogum, I'm sorry, Vyan. I left you alone in party. Actually, my condition worsened. That's why I had to go urgently. Vyan, what? How is he now? Bogum, he's not well. Look down. We have to do the surgery. I'm trying my best to collect money, but Vyan hugged him, comforting her. Vyan, don't worry, I will help you. You are my friend. Tayong entered and saw the scene. He rolled his eyes. It's the first time he was seeing Vyan close to Bowen. Bogum, no need, Vyan. I will manage. Vyan, how will you? Let me help you, please. Bogum, mm, thank you. 
He hugged her again, snuggling into her neck. She felt uncomfortable and backed off. Few days passed. Wine was getting ready for university. So suddenly, she felt something coming out of from her stomach. She ran to the restroom and threw everything out which she ate. When what just happened, breathing heavily, she cleaned herself and was about to come outside, but again threw up. When Uma, I am feeling so weak. She came out and thought not to go to university today. It has been few days. Wang is feeling weak. She is not able to eat anything. All she knows is throw up. She is not going to university also. Her mom is also worried for her. She told her to go for a checkup, but Wang refused. She is scared of hospitals. Wine mom entered in room and saw Wine laying with her eyes closed. Wine mom, Wina, you know today is Stella's wedding. Wine mom, I can't go. I'm not feeling well. Please. Fine mom, you know she will get angry if you don't go. Stella is Fine's cousin and maybe someone else too. Fine mom, no dear, that Kim Tae will also come and I don't want to meet him. Fine mom, who is saying you to go and hug him? Fine hmm? mom, fine mom, haha, <laughs> just go and get ready. We'll wait. She said and mine nodded. At wedding, Tang looked at Wine, who was talking with one of her cousins. Tang Po, what she has done to herself. She is looking so weak and pale. Is she sick? Maybe that's why she is not coming to university. Should I ask her? towards her with a teasing smile. Then, hey Miss Wyan, when, why are you here? Cold. Then, oops, this much cold. I need a jacket, he said and laughed. When, what's so funny, Kim? Roll eyes. She said, feeling this. She was feeling headache. Now, well, isn't uncle giving you food, huh? You're looking like a skeleton. Laugh. Ryan, that's not your headache. She said and was about to pass but felt dizzy. She stopped and held chair for support. Then frowned, looking at her. Composed herself and was about to walk, but felt dizzy again. But before she can, the ground down held her securely. Then, hey, what happened? When mom rushed to them, when mom, what happened to her? Then, I don't know, aunt. She fainted. Mr. Kim, Taeyong, take her to hospital. Taeyong, yes, Dad. He picked her in his arms and took to hospital with Kim's and Wine mom. Wine Dad is out for a trip. They all were waiting outside. Doctor is checking Wine. Your Wine mom is crying. Wine mom, I'm telling her from days to go for a checkup, but she was not listening. She has been feeling six days. Mrs. 
ask him, don't worry, she will be all right, she said, consoling her. After some time, the doctor came outside. Then, how is she, doctor? He asked her as he was standing in front. Doctor, she is too weak. I am doubting if she is even eating anything or not. How can you guys be this careless? You should take care of her in this condition. Why and mom? Which, which condition, doctor? Doctor, she is almost one month and the baby and the mother. They both are too weak. There are not much chances for the baby to survive. Then he was listening everything, being free as his place. He didn't thought that things can turn in this way too. All of them were shocked. How can this happen? Now, is there any chances that they both will be healthy? Doctor, only if you take care. She needs proper care. She is too weak to handle the situation. Maybe because of sickness, she left eating, which made the things work. I will give some vitamins and iron tablets. Make sure to give it to her on time. Thank you. She said and went away. My mom, who, who is the father? Is he Bogum? Then looked at her and said, Then it's me on. Their eyes widened. Mr. Kim, what are you saying, Taeyong? Dad, he told them. My mom, I have to tell her, Dad. But what if he say to Mrs. Kim, what are you saying, Oni? The babies are. Kim's will find a solution. Don't say like that. Mr. Kim, yes, don't worry. Nurse came out and told them that wine is awake and calling her mom. After some time, Vine mom told them to go inside. Then entered inside and saw Vine laying on bed. Just by seeing her before, he understood she was not well. Then, how are you feeling? When, why you told them that you are the father? So what you wanted me to stood there like a cow? Well, still you couldn't have told them without discussing anything with me. Then, what there to discuss? Are you planning to, my baby? Well, how can you think like that? I'm not cheap like you. She said, getting a little hyper. Then we stayed quiet, because he knows it's not good for her. Then let's just talk about this later. Time skipped to next day. They all were sitting at Vine's home. Vine said, "It's also back." Vine dead. The both were not at fault. As Vine said, she just drank juice, so maybe someone did that purposely. I prefer you to check CCTV. Mr. Kim, let's forget CCTV for now. What will we gonna do next? Then, see that I'm not at fault. I didn't did anything intentionally. Mrs. Kim, so who will gonna take the responsibility? I will, but mom sighed. Okay, I will take the baby after birth. Why, no way. I'm not letting you take my baby away. Okay, the baby is mine too, and no mother can stay away from their child.
Damn, but I want my baby too. Mr. Kim, you are both getting on this Sunday. That's final. Serious. Damn, what? No way. I'm not gonna marry her. Fine. I also don't wanna marry him. Ryan mom, but damn, aren't see I don't have any feelings for Ryan. How can I stay with a person from whom I don't feel anything? Mrs. Kim, there you both want the baby and also don't want to live together. How is this possible? Why and dad, you both want to live with no relation? How you both will address yourself in the future? Dad, but I don't like him. When that? It's not about liking. You have to think maturely. You're going to be a mother. Think about your baby. Ryan didn't say anything. Mr. Kim, you both will get married on Sunday. And now, no more discussions. He said sternly and went out from there. Behind my net there was glaring at each other. Hope you guys like it. I'm again saying don't judge any character so soon. I'll upload the next part. So stay tuned. Take care. Bye.